So if you're trying to open a jar file for Minecraft and it's not working, as you can see, I tried to open this file, it doesn't work. Here's how to fix it super quick. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to the first link in the description. This is a quick tool I made for you guys because we need to download Java, but we need to download the right Java, right? We can't just download a random Java and expect it to open these jar files. So what we need to do is determine what version of Minecraft we are playing. For this video, I'm going to be installing Optifine 1.20, 1.4. So once you know the Minecraft version that you're going to play, you're going to put it here, right there in the first link in the description. You're going to put it into this menu here. So just go ahead and type your Minecraft version. In my case, it's 1.21, 1.4, but it doesn't really matter which Minecraft version you're playing. You're going to follow the same steps. Once you put the Minecraft version in here, click on check and it will tell you which Java do you need. And not only will tell you which Java you need, it actually gives you the option to download it right away from here. Now, very important, guys, we'll be downloading the 64 bit version of Java. If your system is running a 32 bit system, which you will have to search it up manually. As of right now, I don't have support on this tool for any other than 64 bit system. And if you don't know what bit your system is running, just head over to your file explorer, go over to this PC, right click in here, click on properties. And right here on system type, it will tell you, as you can see, mine is 64 bit. And I know most of you will be running 64 bit. Anyways, once you're here, once you're set and you have your Java version, hit download Java and the download for the installer of Java will begin right away. Now that file, you can find it on your recent download history or within your downloads folder on your computer. Once you have that file in your computer, just go ahead and double click on it and the installer for Java will open in here. Just click next, click next one more time and then hit install. You might get an admin prompt. If I do get one, I know the recording program is not going to pick it up. My screen is going to go black. Just go ahead and click yes in there and then it will put you right here on the installation. Just go ahead and wait for this to finish. Now, after the installation of Java finish, you could go ahead and press finish in here and you could even delete the installer. You won't be needing that anymore. And now try to reopen those jar files that you were trying to open earlier. And you now might get this option here called open JDK. Just go ahead and use that and you'll be able to open your Java file. But if you want to be able to open this jar file without having to select what you want to open it with, then we need to run a jar fix. To run a jar fix, click on the second link in the description, I believe, and it will put you right here. And let's go ahead and download jar fix. Jar fix doesn't even need to be installed. Just run it once in your computer and you're set. Now, once you're over here, click on jarfix.exe. The download for jarfix will begin right away. And just like we did before, I'm going to go ahead and place mine in my desktop. And now just double click on jarfix. You might get an admin prompt. Just allow it to run. And then literally that's it. Jarfix will link all your jar files to Java, the whatever Java you install. In my case, it was Java 21. You could delete jarfix now. And now next time you double click on these jar files, as you can see, it won't ask you. It will directly launch the jar file using Java. And that's it, guys. You can now run these jar files. You can install whatever you're trying to install and you're done. Remember, I'm going to leave those links in the description. First link for the tool and second link for jar things in case you need to run one. Anyways, if this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.